another fresh cucumber from the compost. What a nice view. And uh, there's my cabin. Good view, some plants. And there's the stream down there. So the little waterfall that I. So my mom wanted to see where I shower. This is a spot. Uh, yeah, it's alive, strong, good water, all the year it's strong, except for the dry season, it's a bit uh, weaker. And it keeps going down, there's a bigger waterfall down there. Making some more contour lines and planting more fruit trees. Makes it easy with the machine. Only 20 minutes and you get it done. The machine makes it look easy. Just move some sticks out of the way and get to planting. Roger that. So we got the level two. This is the level one. Throwing some flamingia seeds. And a little on the sides. And then I'll be planting some stuff. There's the Nyaku tree there with the mulch. And then over there, where is it? Oh, here it is. Look, sapote. And yeah. Lots of space for planting some more trees. Over there I'll probably leave it for now. Just see how it goes. Maybe chop them slowly. There's some uh, jackfruit over here. And uh, some other trees along There's a nice view. Down below that is the path that leads to away and it's on. Um, those are some big things but I think the bite is more painful for the skin but I'm not too sure. No, I don't want to know anymore. And since it's watermelon it doesn't need too much so I keep it on low setting. Just for about five to ten seconds. And that's it. Now we can put it in the cheesecloth. So we got the cheesecloth and we're in the watermelon. Depends on the size of your cheesecloth. You might not want to put all of the juice in one go, but it looks like it's fitting in this particular size. Delicious watermelon juice ready for drinking. So just make sure that the top is closed like so, so it doesn't come off of the top. And slowly work your way through. Don't squeeze it too hard because you could puncture the cheesecloth. You want it to last for years, it's a good investment. And then you can go and enjoy the sun. Thank you.